65 years later what is going on guys light dark here we are back we are two episodes away from finishing kingdom hearts dark roads let's get on with it straight to it the corridors of darkness hey don't touch ventus bridges that connect each and every world destinations near and far are but a brief trek away Hey, hey, stop that tremendous. What, what, what is this travesty? Yeah, I love it that it doesn't face anymore. Just like, I, I, I walk through you. But it comes with a hefty cost. These halls are not to be traversed by the living, but by spirit and emotions. They gather here, their hearts drawing in each other. Those who attempt to embrace these emotions find their hearts become corroded until they are overcome by darkness. This is why these quotes are essential, but those words of caution are for the weak. I believe that a heart strong enough can withstand the strain. I suppose this is of no concern to someone who's closed off their heart. Oh, I really wonder who this guy is. We got, we, we've seen him before a few times. We still don't know who the heck he is. My first mentor taught me that the one inscribed in the book, the one chosen to be a dark vessel, can connect their hearts to others and feel what they feel. Huh. Now that I look closely, not even Ventus is being tainted. Well, I, I mean, he was a vessel. He was a vessel in Union Cross for, for one of the darknesses. So I must embrace these emotions. Let them flow into my heart. Wait, so that means that Senor's trying to become one of the vessels for darkness, apparently. Will I finally be deemed worthy? Yep, there, there's the confirmation. Oh, oh, we got Terra and Aqua. That is so cool. That is so, so cool. Oh, man. Lo love seeing them in this style. That's great. That's great. I'm going to assume now that Ventus was the way that he is now because of the events that happened in Union Cross. They're finding out that his friends technically died or grew old without him. But that would affect anyone. Okay. It seems you settled in. Well enough. You've taken on apprentices. They seem quite bright. Better late than never. You mentioned in your letter you had one of your own. Yes. But Eric, there's no need. Your letter said enough. Water under the bridge. Okay, you forgave him rather quick for the scars. I am sorry. So, is that him? The one you wish to entrust in my care? Yes. His name is Ventus. You will not train him yourself? I took him under my wing this past year, but I think he may be the one. Are you sure? Yes. He's a special boy. Are they talking about the same thing, the vessel? Well, that then that explains why Ericus attacked him the way he did in Birth by Sleep. One who deserves to be guided by a true air of light. I stand too close to the darkness. Could he really be? <laughs> no. What? Episode 7. Reason for Disappearance. Oof. What new class member will we find today? And will we find Kairi's grandma again? Oh, the tragedy. 
she left us. Maybe. Vitter is Kyrie's grandfather. No, 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 no. I see. Vitter is gathering light as a means to repel true darkness. Yes, he's disturbing the balance of different worlds in an attempt to unearth true light. Master Orton, our task was to search for the missing upperclassmen. But now that we know their true intentions, we're beginning to feel like we might be in over our heads. And then there's Vor. <sighs> yes. She has sided with Vader. Yes. I know it looks bad, but Vor's just trying to do what she thinks it's right. Also, now you're accepting it. I understand why she's doing it. I'm better late than never. What I don't understand is how this threat could be so great that Vither can just justify ruining the orders of different worlds. What exactly is true darkness? An enemy of Keyblade wielders from long ago. The ones that I entrapped. I, had I entrapped four of them. I really wonder if they're still entrapped now that I think about it. The heartless you fight, the ones with form, are beings that were born from it. Is it a type of heartless? If it was, we could defeat it like all the others. Easy. But I'm guessing you think there's more to it. An enemy of Keyblade wielders. Heartless with forms. Then true darkness must have no form. If that's true. How do we defeat something like that? How do we defeat something like that? <laughs> Vader are asking the same questions. To the best of our knowledge, true darkness itself has never been vanquished, and I really doubt it ever will. However, the actions taken by the Lost Masters lead us to believe that if this darkness has already chosen a vessel to inhabit, defeating it is indeed possible. Manifested into a form, that makes sense, yes. And the vessel? Unnecessary Ah, uh, No, that, that further proves why Ericus was the way he was when he attacked Ventus. He believed, he still believed that he was a vessel of darkness. That's why he tried to train him that night. Like, oh, damn, that kind of explain why Sanor left in there. I think he knew the danger. But at the same time, it gives me the impression that he was trying to be the vessel. I can't let that happen. There has to be something we can do. Though it may be difficult to accept, this war with darkness cannot be won without grief and loss. We've already lost enough. If we lose anyone else, I won't be able to face my friends. So you've been losing more people than... Eesh, that's a yikes. There has to be another way. Perhaps there is, but it is barred from use. Oh? Bar? Are you referring to Kingdom Hearts? We learned about the existence of such a power, but not much else. It is an enigma about which we know little. Yes, yeah, Kingdom Hearts is an enigma. It's a door, it's a, a giant moon in the, in the sky. It's actually a lot of things <laughs> now that I think about it. The true Kingdom Hearts is inside all of us. Yeah. <laughs> no. However, we do know the steps to summon it. According to legend, seven lights are the key. But no ordinary ones will do. Only by gathering seven true lights that shine amidst the darkness of chaos. Will Kingdom Hearts reveal itself? True light that shines in the darkness of chaos? It is said that to call upon this power is to purge the world. Okay. So apparently even if you summon Kingdom Hearts, you still need to purge the world. It's a it's an after effect to summoning it, apparently. Well, that, and that also explains why in the third game. Kingdom Hearts was summoned and immediately gave the impression that it was going to do the purge. 
Yet it is unclear whether darkness would be abolished in the process. Whatever the outcome, it is an extreme approach that it is certain to have a profound effect on every world. Yikes. So not even the old Keyblade wielders know what will happen if you unleash Kingdom Hearts. Well, we were close to seeing it on the third game. At least Sora stopped that one. Now, now I'm curious. Is one life worth the cost? Kingdom Hearts. Remember, it is forbidden. What we know of the great power is merely speculation. Instead, you must focus on studying the darkness and its nature. Damn. Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. Its power can purge everything. Even darkness that has no form would likely be destroyed. However, it has not yet been determined that what we face now is true darkness. And if it is indeed so, would you risk the lives of countless others to save your friends? And that's how Sanor learned about Kingdom Hearts. Okay. It could even perch the worlds. Hermon, you made the right decision coming to me. This is a matter you are not acquitted to handle. It is in my hands now. As of this moment, you are relieved from your duty. Oh, and just like that? <laughs> Or, they, okay. I really doubt that these kids are just going to give up like that. The Dark Seeker will finally be upon us. Wait. So this was also a prophecy? Because everything up until Melody of Memory was the Dark Seeker saga. Oh, damn. It makes me think that Sanot was prophesized. Okay. So what now? You heard Master Odin. It's over. Back to our normal lives. You don't look too happy about that. Of course I'm not. Like he said, what Vitter is trying to do is way bigger than us. And bigger than War too. So let's go save Kyrie's grandma. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going to stop with that now. <laughs> She's probably in over her head. But there's nothing we can do. Master Odin was clear. Our task is over. Ugh. What are we supposed to do? Easy. Take a deep breath or something. Even if we wanted to go after them, gates closed. And we wouldn't even know where to go. The only reason we ran into them, it's because they were keeping tabs on us. So the odds of seeing them again are the same even if we stay. Maybe so, but <laughs> I, I, well, we got to save everybody. We got to save them all. Maybe so, but we can't just sit here. Whoa, don't throw a tantrum. <laughs> just knowing that Vedder might be messing with a world at any moment makes me want to go out there and do something. If there's something we can do, we should do it. What? I thought you wanted to wait and see. Master Odin said he'd deal with the situation. It's not up to us to get involved. Do you think this new threat has anything to do with the upperclassmen who disappear? Vedder said something about not wanting his friend's efforts to be in vain then. He said true darkness needed to be defeated. So the two have been connected. Maybe we can look into it and find a way to help. Maybe. But well, where would we even start? We can't talk to Vitter, and our second best option would be to talk to the people who aren't here anymore. That sounds tricky. Hey, Balder! What's up, my dude? We haven't seen you in ages. Did you just get back? It hasn't been that long. What have you been up to? Not much. I was tasked with finding out more about darkness. You were? Yeah, apparently there are different types. So I checked out a few worlds with recent activity, but... 
Enough about that. Wanna fill me in on what you were talking about? I don't even know where to start. I'm guessing that whatever's got you worked up has something to do with Vor, seeing as she's not here. So in order to find out what prompted Vitter to take things this far, you want to gather information from the upperclassmen who disappeared. Is that it? I was joking. I mean, that's impossible. What if it's not? But seriously? In one of the worlds I visited, there was this place called the Underworld. <laughs> We're going to Hercules, cool. You might be able to talk to them there. Oh, God. Are, is he recommending what I think he's recommending? The well where all the souls are, are being kept in Hades Underworld, really? Great. Then we can continue our task. Really? Ericus? Uh, you weren't supposed to know about our assignment to find the upperclassmen. <laughs> what assignment? I like this dude. I like this dude. Anyway, you don't have to worry about finding hotter anymore. Hotter? Hotter or colder? <laughs> what do you mean? She tried to protect me. And now she's gone. Wait, is that your sister? So the upperclassmen that Vedder said disappeared. One of them was my sister. Damn. Ericus, do you remember our talk about the mark of mastery exam? We were standing right here. Afterwards, I still couldn't shake the feeling something was wrong. So I followed her. Leave my sister alone. Oh, you're his sister. Okay. Balder. What are you doing here? Oh, damn. Hotter. It's okay. I'll protect you. Oh, man. This is the second sister that... <laughs> that, that something bad happened to her. Balder. No. Oh, damn. I don't know what happened after that. When I woke up, I was in the infirmary. Master Odin told you guys that he had a different task for me. But he was just giving me time to heal. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But I do need to find out what led to all of this. Damn, man. You had it rough. Let's go to the underworld. Oh, that, that nobody could summon gates. What, we're, we're going? Yep, of course. Damn straight, let's go. You heard him. <laughs> Off we go. Olympus Coliseum, hell yeah. Here we go. This is it? It's not as creepy as I thought. <laughs> We're not there yet. No, no, no. This is the upper world where nice things happen. Maybe it's through there. Yeah, yeah let's go in. <laughs> I really doubt we're gonna see Hercules here. Maybe Phil? So this is the underworld. But now that I think about it, Hercules did appear in our quest during Union Cross. And after he trained with Phil too. That still, that still buggers me. Like I said, it, it makes me think that everything is happening in a, a sort of cycle. Or not, right? I knew that. Just checking to see if you knew. Where is this underworld then? 
we're on a platform surrounded by seats. It's so like this is a... Welcome to the games. Who's there? Oh, Hades. Name's Hades, Lord of the Dead, aka Lord of the Underworld. A place you all are apparently dying to see. So I'm here to offer you a deal. What kind of deal? Win the tournament and I'll send you a personal invitation to my domain. Win and we get an invitation. Got it. Let's go over it. Eh, hey, not so fast. A tournament has rules. Rule 17. Three people to a team. Of course, there can only be three people in this game as a team. Cool. So that's me and... Sanord and Ericus, of course. I choose... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> if I choose Ericus, you're gonna tag along, right, Sanord? Then that's three. <laughs> that means that Sanord follows Ericus like a like a little puppy. Okay. Last and certainly least, huh? Oh, shots fired. Okay. Aw, uh, come on. It's not like that. <laughs> Alright, then. Let the games begin. Hey, and uh, put on a good show, will ya? Let's fight the, the, the thing with the plays uh, for the invitation. Shouldn't be that hard, right? I'm going to admit that I have leveled up Cyanort a little bit. Just a tad bit. You know, this one's easy. We got this one, we got this one. Little ghosties going down. There we go. The shining stars. Oh god, now we have to find <laughs> Cone Lady. How about we do a montage? I gotta say, some of these harvest designs are very, very nice. Look at that thing. Quick pause here. I really like that they brought some Final Fantasy summons into this game as harvest. It's really cool to think about it. I would really love to have these guys as summons in, in the future. Haha! <laughs> well done, well fought. Wow, you guys must have been training hard while I slept. I noticed, huh? Everyone except you, Ericus. Haha! <laughs> yeah, slacker. <laughs> hey! Nice assist, Samuel. I, w I wasn't sure you could pull it off with Ericus on the team. <laughs> Not you, too. <laughs> Oh, big fat Hades. Where's my invitation, dude? Hey, am I missing the party? We won the tournament, now take us to the underworld. About that. Oh man. I changed my mind. Oh shoot. What? You're all invited. And just like that, they're gone. And straight into the capital. Oh man, it's just the three of us. Where are we? Uh, where you want it to be? Welcome to the underworld. I thought you said we were all invited. Where are the others? Oh, I'm sure they're around. Somewhere. People usually fight tooth and nail not to end up here. But not you guys. What's the catch? We want to talk to someone who disappeared. Disappeared? Alright, mortals. Always had to sugarcoat everything. 
<laughs> died in other words that's what exactly well personally I preferred dead whatever can we see her or not could be entertaining so when in world did she kick the proverbial bucket <laughs> okay you mean where in this world exactly you die you end up in the underworld wait are you telling me that's not what happened to your friend apparently not hold on what do you think this place was a cosmic lost and found <laughs> uh, i can hear that sassy james wood voice right there get out of here i've got better ways to waste my time huh but we won the tournament yes and i brought you here those were the deal terms he's right Xehanort, now's not the time to be logical. Ugh, we came so far for nothing. Are you sure you can't help us out? Fine, you caught me on a slow day. I'll dig around, see what I can do. But no promises. Oh, that's actually very polite from you, Hades. Yes, however, if I find your friend, one of you has to stay behind. What? Nothing's free in life for death, kid, but don't worry. Whoever sticks around is gonna have a great time being a pawn in my next scheme. Yikes, okay, no way we have important responsibilities. Sounds like a personal problem. Now, one of you stays, or you all do. Take time to think about it, you got plenty. Okay, who's your friend? Hotter. Got it. Hold that thought. And he's gone. Found her. Came in with a few stragglers. Consider it a bonus. Follow that path. Oh, and pace yourselves. It's gonna take a while to get there. <laughs> go down the escalators we go. So one of them really gonna stay behind. I wonder how many pawns are about to join my collection. Look, it has to be through there. Look, it has to be through there. Oh shit, Cerberus. But guess that thing doesn't want to let us pass. A guard dog in the underworld, huh? Less talking, more fighting. Agreed. Come here, boy. You're in our way. Now I leveled up Selnor to level 41 and it, this is still very, very difficult. I have to keep training young Selnor here. Tap, 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 tap. Almost got him. And dead. There we go. Down, boy. Get down. Thank you. He's tough. Oh. Get on the hydra. <laughs> oh, Balder. Need a hand? Balder. Am I glad to see you? Sanor, Ericus, you guys go on ahead. I'll stay with Braggy. Wait, what are you? We got this, right? Are you kidding me? I could do this in my sleep. You heard him, now go. Okay. Let's go get your sister, boy. Braggy, be careful. Alder, I'll see you later. Count on it. Oh, let go, let go. Yeah, oh, they, oh my god, they're grabbing each other by the hand. <gasps> hmm, I think, I think, Xehanort and Ericus are gonna do a lot more than just, oh god. You're alive. Are you two alright? Yeah, I think so. 
I remember being consumed by dark smoke and then waking up here. Baldur and Bragi are fighting the beast alone? We should head back and help them out. We'll come with... No, you two keep going. Talk to the upperclassmen. Hear what they have to say. But, okay, but make sure Braggy's alright. No, let's go, Ericus. Let's go. We we have to do some making. I, I mean, uh, I mean, kissing. I I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, I, I mean, I mean, find the 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 classmen. Yeah, find the classmen. Wink, wink. When you're done, meet us at the open area up ahead. Right there. Yeah. Oh, you guys had the hang of it. Here we go. The darkness here is dense. Your usual methods won't work. There's something that's been bothering me that I need to figure out. Let's get this over with. Fine, but you owe me an explanation. I hope this is just my imagination. Christ, this episode has been incredibly long. Oh my god, okay. Baldur's sister. Hotter. And Heimdall. Helgi. And, Sig and Sigrun. Wait a minute, Sig... Wasn't Sigrun the one that went to get a brain when he appeared in Scala at Kylum? No, it can't be. I think it's Sigur and the other guy's name. You're all here. Eric is in Sanor. I didn't think we'd meet under these circumstances. Wait, but you guys are dead, right? We were tasked by Master Odin to find all of you. The missing upperclassmen. So we're missing. Then Vedar didn't make it back. What is going on here? Not exactly. He's working towards summoning Kingdom Hearts to purge the worlds. He didn't want your efforts to be for nothing. Purge the worlds? Why would he do that? To destroy the darkness that took you away from him. What happened to all of you? What can you tell us about this darkness? In one of the worlds we visited, we encountered an evil fairy that put a curse on a princess. Okay. So they went to Snow White's world. No, this is Cinderella. Never mind. Cursed by an evil fairy? I'm guessing that this time she was just a baby. What reason is there to curse Princess of Aurora? Maybe we don't understand because we're not from this world. Can we do something to help? We're not allowed to interfere with the order, remember? But isn't looking the other way going against our orders? Perhaps, but we can't push our way onto people here. Regardless, we don't have the capacity to decide what's right, like Master Odin said. It's getting late. Let's talk to him about it tomorrow. Ah, ninja boy. <laughs> Bali? What is it? Potter's gone? I, I, I like Bali. Where did she go? I don't suppose she went to confront the evil fairy. If she did, she could be in danger. What if she gets cursed? We need to find her. Think. If we go together, we'll be asking for trouble. Then let's split up. Wait. So these three, these three and a uh, hotter died by the hands of the queen. Damn. What now? We don't have time. I'm going with you. 
Yep, there we go. Apparently they died fighting the queen. Damn, the queen is very, very strong to be able to kill three Keyblade wielders. Oh no, needs help. Damn. Hotter. Oh man. We'll have time to mourn her later. You. This is for Hotter. Oh boy. We couldn't protect Hotter and we couldn't defeat the evil fairy. When we came to, we were in a world with a never-ending sky and ocean. They went to the lost world, the final world, the final world. We lost our bodies. All we had left was our hearts. So is she the true threat? She does sound like the formless darkness Vitter described. She does harbor a lot of darkness, but... Hmm. Well, you can't be sure she's the one you're talking about. The one without form. I don't know about you, but she transformed into a huge dragon. So I wouldn't exactly call that formless. But she is a dark entity that we had to deal with, right? Well, after we left with only our hearts, we realized something. What's that? There might not be a clear difference between the light and darkness in people's hearts. It's all about different beliefs. I've always thought of that and they confirmed it here. That because we have Riku, Riku uses darkness, but he's still in tight with the light. Light and darkness are the powers that you use in this world in particular, in Kingdom Hearts. Good and evil does not mean light and darkness are the same. And in part that is also why I chose the name Light Dark Gaming, because light and darkness are just powers in the world. It does not it it doesn't necessarily mean good nor evil. Riku is a good example, like I said earlier. He uses the darkness, but he uses it for good purposes. People want to believe they're right, so anyone who goes against them is wrong, making them darkness in the eye of the beholder. I'm glad that they addressed this. In every world there was a strife born of conflicted beliefs. Like in ours. This is going very deep, I like this. Instead of creating a divide like light and darkness, maybe there's a way for everyone to coexist. We've also visited a few worlds and seen the same thing. There's a little bit of darkness everywhere, but that's its way and slowly infiltrates everything. Darkness can hide anywhere, even inside someone. Yeah, darkness doesn't exist in people's hearts until it borrows its way inside. I'm gonna make it my duty to destroy the shadows and only the shadows. Just need to know it when you see it, right? Right. We have nothing, nothing more to share with you but this. Your lives are not your own to judge, but yours to lead. Broaden your horizons and find your own answers. Well fucking said. I love this episode. I love this. May your hearts be your guiding key. And just like that, they're gone. <laughs> it's almost time. Already? That Hades is so stingy. Oh man. Anything you want us to say to your brother? Sanor. I have a favor to ask. Ah, oh, come on. Don't leave us in the blind like that. Let's hurry back to the others. I want to see them. Me too. Uh... Erg? What happened? Where's Hermond? Still searching for Braggy and Bowser. Oh Christ, don't just stand there alone. <laughs> Thought they died. 
I decided to wait here for you two. I wonder where he went. Well, we can ask someone who might know. Hades. Speak of the devil. Look who's here. Somebody talking about me? Oh, it's you. Raggy and Balder are missing. Do you know where they are? Do I look like a babysitter or a directory? That said, I do know where one of them is. Here, as my new permanent resident of the underworld. What do you mean? A Braggy or Balder disappear? <laughs> like I can tell who's who. No. Anyway, why are you still here? A deal's a deal. You got what you wanted, now scram. No, we're not leaving without our friends. Right, but hey, you knew the terms. One lives here now, permanently. And I can always make room for the other one. You wish. We're getting our friends back no matter what. Oh, we're fighting Hades? Or I can make room for all of you. Yep, we're fighting Hades. No way in hell we living, we, we letting our friends stay with you, Hades. Who the hell you think you are, boy? Then I died. Okay, continue. Let's cool you off a little bit. Come on, keep on tapper, keep her tapping. We gotcha, we gotcha. Look at that. Bam, that should do it. Now give us back our friends. Oh. Vermont. Oh, damn. Whoa, what's going on here? Get out of the way, Hermon. I thought we were um, messing with the order. Give me a good reason to back off. The situation's changed. The reason you can't find Braggy and Balder is because he took them. Haven't you been listening to a word I've said? You know what? Forget it. That's two permanent residents for the underworld. I've heard enough. Forget the rules. I'm not gonna lose my friends. Let's try this again. Sheesh. Sheesh. <laughs> Someone likes a stacked deck. This isn't like your tournament. There's no rule saying there can only be three people to a team. You little. You know what? It doesn't matter. I hope you all enjoy eternity here. Whoa. What? Hey, huh? Oh, damn. Wait, was that Hades? Or was that someone else? Olympus Coliseum. Finish the Olympus. Cool. All that angst. And for what? So that wasn't you? You. Wait, who? What's going on? Oh damn, they're in darkness. Ericus. Ericus, wake up. Sanor. What's going on? Where are we? Quick, put on your armor. Yeesh. Darkness is all around us. If you listen to its whispers, It'll get inside your head and your heart. Darkness. Why is it here? I don't know. Our armor will buy us some time, but I don't know how much. We need to find our way out, but how? What do we do? Hermon and Ernst should be here with us, right? Let's find them first. Okay. Oh man, they, they are being attacked. You're right about the armor. I hate to think what would have happened to us without it. It's too late. Oh no! Darkness is in my heart. Don't give up hope. Help is coming. Right. 
You have your hair out. Oh no. Now you have your face out. Oh no, oh no. Oh man. She saw something. And she kind of smiled. Oh no! No! It's getting to Ericus now. What's going on? Oh, Master Odin! So only you remain. He has the the Eric is his keyblade. Hey, Vanitas. 65 years later. You were to wait at the Batlands. How was Ventus? Whatever. Good riddance. I did this for him, not you. What do you mean, old man? Switching sides on me now? Hold your tongue, boy. You may be pure darkness, but you are no match for my blade. Ooh, God. He knows... It. Okay, so he knew that Ventus was pure darkness. Good. Got it. Oh, I, Ventus? Did I say Ventus? No, Vanitas. Long ago, there were 13 ancient darknesses. The most primitive of shadows, formless. The Keyblade Masters of old rendered themselves as vessels to trap the most powerful seven within their bodies. Oh man. So that is why we're gonna fight the foretellers in the next game. They have the pure, uh, the true darknesses inside them. So they sacrifice themselves. Of the six that remained, four were imprisoned by Keyblade wielders in a world comprised of Data. And that explains why, why there's darkness in Data too then. And the two were destroyed when the worlds collapse. But one survived it is said, and it disguised itself as an ally of light. Ventus, perhaps it hides inside one of us here in, in this time. Tell me Vanitas. As a being of darkness, what do you think? Hmm. I think it has nothing to do with me. Is that so? Darkness was once whole, and though fractured since, their minds were once connected. You must know where the others are. I'm my own being that was once part of a whole? Yeesh. Hypothetically, if you were the darkness in question, why would it be necessary for you to hide? What would be the reason to conceal your existence? Who knows? Fear, perhaps? And what exactly would I have to fear? Light. Ha! You think I'm afraid of Ventus. You're dreaming. His heart was not split into light and darkness. You were not born from it. You inhabited his heart, I summarize. And if that's true, where did you and he come from? Ventus appeared in my dreams as a young lad. Our meeting was not by chance. What do you know? What is there to know? Nothing. Forget it.
and that's our last episode 7 lights and 13 darknesses episode 7 reason for disappearance and so it's making me think that uh, vanitas is not actually one of the darknesses then okay we're nearly there man that this this episode was long but it was filled with so much material it was very good i'll see you guys in the next one when we end this series Thank <laughs> you.